Hello, everyone. If you will allow me a brief impertinence, you have no doubt, I am almost 100% sure of this, you have been told since your high school days in America that the solution to a system of equations is a dreary business. I've seen how some of you students solve systems of equations. First, they tell you that you have to shuffle numbers about, eliminate this, substitute that, and hope against hope that the answer reveals itself without too much bloodshed, mental bloodshed, that is. But today, let me, I shall disabuse you of that childish notion because there exists a theorem and theorems are often stern arbiters of truth that is little known in American schools, though in reality, it's a staple of European education, which uh, will tell you whether your system of equations has a solution, none at all, or infinitely many. And many of you, I know for a fact nowadays, they teach a lot of graphing. You were taught to sketch ungainly lines upon a graph until they consent to meet the lines, I mean. And such methods are tolerable for school children, but they leave you ill-equipped for uh, superior intellectual battles. I have to be frank with you. You know I'm always frank with you. Um, in fact, one of the one of the greatest um, characteristics of this channel is that I have to be frank. I can be no other way, and people know that I tell you the truth, and that's why a lot of you 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 leave the channel. You're hurt sometimes. Your feelings are hurt, or um, it doesn't matter though because truth is truth. But your mathematical instruction, if you were educated in this republic in the United States of America, has been criminally impoverished. Because I am familiar with other countries in the world. You go to places like Spain, France, and even in uh, certain sober corners of Germany and England, and the student of tender age is taught to, they, they don't have a perfect system, but at least their math education is far superior to what you get in the United States. Um, they are taught to discern structure, to perceive in the system of equations a, a deeper order, and not merely to uh, to bludgeon through computation. That's what many of you do. You you bludgeon through the computations and you have no idea what you're doing. And in many European countries, and I believe Latin America as well, if you're Latin America, I know I have some people from Brazil who watch the channel. Maybe they can tell me, I don't know. But you might be able to tell me, um, this theorem is taught. And it's a theorem which does not guess whether solutions exist, but really pronounces their fate from the beginning, almost with, if, if this were a legal system, judicial severity. And yet in our country today, most people pass through school, even through the colleges, without ever hearing its name. They graduate thinking that mathematics is a tedious contrivance of formulas and drills never glimpsing that it is in fact a cathedral of thought. I've said that many times on this channel. I have told you that mathematics is a cathedral of thought, full of unexpected beauty, where you, where you least expect it, you'll get it. And what a pity, what a waste. And here is the real issue in reality. Your education, your own education, I dare say, has conspired against you. You just have to ask your classmates in college who are Right now, the semester starting, some semesters have already started here in America. Ask your classmates in college who are taking Calculus 1, for example, and who are, they are allegedly supposed to have a decent mathematical background if they have ever heard of today's theorem. Probably not, and most certainly not in high school. Why? Because today's theorem smacks of linear algebra. And that discipline in this country is really taught poorly. Um, even when you are taught linear algebra, it's really reserved for a chosen few, and it's poorly taught in most places. I'm not saying everyone, but in most places, it's poorly taught. And yet, if you have been, if you had been tutored with the proper tools, 
you would have met this idea long ago and with delight. And that is the reason why uh, I do want to thank today's sponsor for this video, Brilliant. And they can be found at brilliant.org, brilliant.org. You know, Brilliant is not a dusty lecture hall, nor a joyless textbook. It is a workshop of the mind with thousands of visual interactive lessons in mathematics, science. They even have uh, programming for the, I, I know a lot of you are interested in programming, data analysis, even artificial intelligence for those of you who are inclined in that direction. Brilliant trains you to think, not merely to memorize, to grapple, not merely to just nod along, it is really what your education ought to have been. Brilliant has earned a reputation for being uh, substantive, rigorous, and a very good study aid for math students. If you are an independent learner, a math educator even, or simply uh, a professional looking to deepen your understanding, I recommend Brilliant. So I am grateful, honestly, to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And please allow me to tell you about who they are and what they do. So imagine, if you will, that instead of being left to plod through lectures like oxen through mud, you had been invited to play with the very ideas themselves, to wrestle with them, to twist them in your hands until they yielded their secrets. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the design of Brilliant. Brilliant is not a mere collection of lectures to be watched passively like so many dull lessons. Uh, it's really a workshop of the intellect where every lesson is alive with problem solving, demanding your wit and rewarding your effort. And this method, let it be known, has been shown to be six times more effective than the old practice of sitting slack jawed before a chalkboard. And what is more, Brilliant builds understanding from the ground up, brick by brick until you find yourself standing atop a structure of knowledge you scarcely believe yourself capable of raising. It keeps you engaged with clever problems, a dash of competition and steady encouragement, so that the, really the flame of motivation never gutters out. And its content really is not the work of amateurs, but they have a veritable guild of masters. They have uh, award-winning teachers, researchers, and professionals from the hollowed halls of Stanford, MIT, and Caltech, and from the mighty workshops of Microsoft, Google, and beyond. And uh, I will now describe uh, some of their features so that you can see for yourselves. Brilliant's newly updated math courses build your mathematical intuition while making you a better thinker and problem solver. You'll start at the perfect level and work your way up through interactive challenges that bring abstract concepts to life. Courses focus on the most useful, applicable math concepts, so you never feel like you are wasting your time. Brilliant science courses help you develop your scientific intuition through visual, interactive problem solving that gets you hands-on with key concepts. You'll learn to think like an engineer with lessons on electric and digital circuits, gear systems, physical structures, and more. Brilliant's growing collection of programming courses is a great way to build timeless problem-solving skills to thrive in the evolving world of programming. From learning Python to developing an intuition for computer logic, you'll get hands-on experience with real programs and learn to think like a programmer. So to learn for free on Brilliant, you can go to brilliant.org slash math. Again, brilliant.org slash city tutoring math. Scan the QR code on screen, or you can click on the link in the description. Brilliant also gives our viewers 20% off on an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. End of the theorem. So the Ruche Capelli theorem. Uh, states that a system of linear equations is consistent if and only if the rank of the coefficient matrix is equal to the rank of the augmented matrix. It means there is at least one solution 
that satisfies all the equations in the system. If the ranks are unequal, the system is considered inconsistent, meaning there are no solutions. Three. So we're going to look at some exercises with that today. And I'll link in the description some of the previous videos that talk about matrices on this channel. Now you can consider, I'm going to show you a system of equations uh, that I'm going to write on the board. And we can let A be the what we call the coefficient matrix. And then we have the augmented, what we call the augmented matrix. So first, um, we should observe the determinant. If, uh, and you should know what the determinant is for this video, by the way, because I explained what the determinant was a few videos ago. But the determinant here that you're going to see in the equation does not is not equal to zero. So you're going to see that the rank is three. So this is the equation that I was referring to. And I'll make it neater later on, uh, other examples. I just wrote this one quickly, but uh, this is the example of the um, augmented matrix that I am uh, that I was referring to that you can see. Um, so the, the rank here is three. So the conclusion that we can draw from this is that, well, first observe, like I said, the determinant is not zero, not equal to zero. The rank here as a result of that is three. And so re remember that for an augmented matrix, the, the rank is always greater than or equal to the rank uh, of the matrix, right? So in this case, it's not equal to four. <clears throat> and so we say, that's why we say that the system is consistent and determined. That is that it has a unique solution, homogeneous system. And this one is a little, I did it neater because I know sometimes the handwriting is not great. I'm just so used to writing everything out, but I, I did it because some of you have requested I do a little bit better with the um, edits of the, the visual edits. So you have a homogeneous system here and notice that the coefficient here, the, of, of we could call a matrix A, um, you have zeros here. So since it's homogeneous. So uh, the augmented matrix is, of course, the coefficients, right? One, 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 zero, et cetera. One, two, negative one, zero, two, negative four, negative one, uh, and zero. So, but how do you reduce? For those of you who need a refresher on that, I did a little the steps here. Um, this is how you would reduce. You would start with, uh, of course, your matrix, right? And then you do the process of elimination um, below the pivot. And so now the matrix becomes this one, 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 zero, one, negative two, zero, negative six, negative three. And then you have to eliminate the second column below pivot and the upper, we have here the upper triangular, <coughs> excuse me, the upper triangular form, which you get here. All right. So what does that mean? Um, once you have that, you have to then determine the rank. So if we determine the rank, we get. Sorry, that was another problem. Um, so we would have to determine the rank here. All three rows are non-zero. And so the homogeneous uh, in this case, so the rank is going to also be three. And so the number of unknowns is, we say n is equal to three. So it has a unique solution. And then you could um, you would solve for the equation. Um, I'm not going to do it now because of a lack of time, but that's what you would do. But the, the homogeneous system submits entirely to order. The ranks match, the theorem smiles upon us in a way. And the only solution is the trivial one, the origin of the vector space. And we've talked about vector spaces on this channel. The origin of the vector space itself. Homogeneous systems, always consistent and yet sometimes vacuous in their, in their solitude. And now we look at another example system here, homogeneous, and it's infinite solutions. So you would have here, we have the coefficient matrix. And we start as usual with the, the row reduction. And we could start with matrix A as always, right? So we have one, 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 
0.213. And then I show you here the row reduction, the sum of the steps. And so the second step is to determine the rank. So you have here two non-zero rows. And so the rank is two. And the number of unknowns is n is equal to three. So that means that the rank is going to, it's actually less than n. So because of that, by the Rouchet-Capelli theorem, that means that the system is consistent with infinitely many solutions. The dimension of the solution space is n, it's always n minus the rank, which has to equal one. It's meaning it's one free parameter. And uh, to solve parametrically, you could do, uh, you can also do this with uh, back substitution. You would start with the second row and then go back to the first row. But in, you're going to end up here with uh, three uh, X, Y, and Z. So observe how the system really bows gracefully to the theorem. It's uh, one parameter, one thread of choice, and an infinite family of solutions and stretches back stretches before us really like a, a corridor of stars. And so homogeneous systems, they are always obedient. Sometimes, however, they're generous in their, um, in their possibilities. And this is really a contrast to the previous homogeneous system that had only the, the trivial solution. All right. So hopefully this was somewhat helpful. I know it's not a lot of information today, but I think that this theorem is not really, well, I know it's not covered in the high schools and you should, it should be. Um, but let me know if you're in college, if you're taking linear algebra, let me know if this is the approach that your, uh, your linear algebra instructor takes, if you have in fact covered the theorem. Um, if you are a person from, I know in some countries, they don't refer to it as the Capelli theorem. They might, you might call it for, um, Rouchet -Fro Freudinius theorem. That is in some countries, but it's the same. It's the same theorem. I hope you all have a blessed day, and uh, please continue to support our channel because we are the only pure mathematics. We are one of the few. I shouldn't say the only. Maybe there are more, but we are really city tutoring. Is we are the ones that are holding this pure mathematics philosophy um, without all the gimmicks and the distractions. Thank you all.